Hey, I'm here in Chicago with uh, Bill with AJ Interiors, and uh, Bill's got a big Dynamax computer ceiling going up. And what we have that's different here that I want to talk to you about is we have Dynamax going in, but when you go over here, you see some Prelude grid. So what the architect did here is they specified Dynamax, and they only installed Dynamax where they're going to carry heavy loads, and where there's no loads, they just put in Prelude grid, and that cut down on cost. But if they ever reconfigure the space, then all they do is just throw in some more Dynamax grid and they're done because the clips in Dynamax readily accept any reconfiguring uh, grid members that you might throw in in the future. So without further ado, we're going to move on and talk to some of the installers here on this project. Just want to get some insights from Bill. Bill, hey, how much of this type of uh, construction have you done in the past? Uh, quite a bit. Probably got at least a half a million square feet of structural grid under my belt. Probably different, all different types and done my second Armstrong uh, structural ceiling. So I've had a lot of experience with how to install most of this stuff. How's the Dynamax going up for you? What, what are the big differences that you've seen with, with this product compared to other products that you put up? Uh, probably the fact that it's like ready to build. It's, you don't have to try and assemble it piece by piece. It's already, everything fits into place. You just kind of build it together as one unit or I mean, you could do it separately, but it makes it easy because everything is like, there's notches in it to align everything up and everything just goes right together, just kind of like normal grid. Yeah, so you're not really, you're building four by 12 ladders on a table, but there's no need for jig alignment, uh, you know, two by fours, anything like that, because you just build on the table and lift it up. Yeah, and it just all, just add one piece to another, and the next thing you know, you got a full ceiling up in the air. What about production? I, I know with Dynamax, uh, it's about a four by four rod drop layout is standard, but, Obviously here, it's beefed up a heck of a lot. What, what type of production are you getting and what type of rod drop consistency are you getting? Uh, I mean, the rods are always probably the toughest part because of double amount, just getting up there alone. Um, but finding it to be pretty close to, with three guys, so you got one guy assembling these panels on the ground, two guys installing up in the air, probably hitting close to about the thousand square foot mark, which is pretty good for the amount of rods we're putting in. I mean, we're going two foot on center with all the rods. So the time just to spin in every rod, it's time consuming, but I mean, I think we could probably double that footage just doing a normal four by four, just because it'll be a lot easier. You're only spinning in six rods instead of I think we're spinning in 15 rods right now. Mm -hmm. So that just completely all doubles. Okay, so Bill, uh, you know, we got Dynamax right here, and then we got Prelude Grid right here. What's what's going on and, you know, what's unique about this installation to where we're using the, uh, the Prelude in conjunction with the Dynamax? Well, I guess what's nice is that for the customer, stru if structural is not needed, then why put it in? With the, the Dynamax just makes it easier to transition because it's it's just like Axiom. It has Axiom uh, trench built on the side of it to accept Axiom clips and you're able just to just start and stop as you please with the structural. So it just makes a nice easy transition, almost seamless I'm sure when all this tile goes in it'll, it won't even look like there's any difference with it and until you see that you can hang 900 pounds from this grid where it's needed. So right here, this is what I'm talking about. Here we have the Dynamax, we got the main and the cross T, and we have an X bracket over the top, and the X bracket join the Dynamax T's to the main runners. But you got an empty side on this X bracket right here, above where the Prelude is tying in. And what's nice about that is if you wanna take this Prelude down at some future date and reconfigure this with Dynamax, no problem, the bracket's there, already ready to accept it. We have you know, four different types of ceiling panels made specially to go up into the Dynamax aperture because it's a, it's a little, you gotta be a little undersized on your tile to fit it in. So we have standard products that'll fit in there. 
But then that same Altima that's going up here can go up here in the Prelude grid. So you're, you got continuity of ceilings. You're not having to order specials or anything like that. Now here we're standing, we got the Dynamax here and we have Prelude here. Now we've partnered with Axis. They're our lighting, one of our lighting partners for Dynamax. And on this job, Axis is supplying the tray fit light. And what's big about that is Axis makes a standard two by four nominal tray fit light, which is slightly undersized, that will drop in perfectly into the Dynamax two by four or two by two opening. Then over here, when they get to the Prelude system, standard Axis tray fit lighting will go in there. So a lot less headache having to order custom fixtures uh, when you're ordering the, the Axis tray fit light for Dynamax. So if you like what you see with Dynamax and you want to learn more, go to armstrongceilings.com forward slash data centers. And you can learn about all of our data center solutions like Dynamax and all of our partners that supply air distribution and lighting through the Dynamax product.